terror is the British Royal Navy's search for the Northwest Passage. You're talking about 1847. It's a very exotic tale based on fact. That makes it really doubly interesting. Right, everybody, fall back! There have been more successful trips to the moon than there have been passages of the Northwest Passage. It's actually very difficult and very dangerous. It's the story of two ships that get trapped in the Arctic ice and follows the crew's survival story. My Lord and Father will see us through. And only recently did they discover the ships, so there were many decades of speculation as to how things went wrong and exactly where these men ended up. If the leads close up and we are out there in it, we will have no idea where the current will move the pack of which we will be a part. Part of the reason the expedition is such a, a lure for, for people is because of the mystery and they come to discover that there's something else out there. Take your wigs off. Don't you hear that? Can we just roll through nature and expect it not to bite back? It's no accident the world was reborn clean out of an ark, Mr. Hickey. There's a strong question of what this hubris does to these men, this quest for pushing towards regions that do not want a part of you. Be sure to come back with a story. Joyfully, sir. When you go into that huge, white, vast, bleak expanse of ice and more ice, what is at the end of it? In a way, I think all the characters are exposed by the Arctic. What could have done that? There must be a bear. A bear did that. We have genre elements and, and horror, and we've got things that might startle you or spook you. What do we do? Shoot it in the head, carve it up for supper. The fiction side of the story is this monster. Keeps on coming. Is that the sun? My God, it's it's coming for us all. 